because I, I, I don't know, it's kind of, because uh, we all know, you know, the NHS is fucking knackered, you know what I mean? It really is. I mean, they always, <laughs> I mean, it needs fucking major investment. The government, each government, the successive governments always get in and they say, oh, we're going to invest loads of money, and they never fucking do, you know? Accident and emergency. Where did the emergency bit come from? You know, there's no emergency in there. You'll walk in with no head and they go, sit down, see in a couple of years. Okay. <laughs> You're sitting there, there's always that bloke, oh, he's always there in an accident emergency, the moaner. He'd be sat there going, ah, ah, fuck off! <laughs> he's at every fucking hospital, and there's always that other bloke as well, that old bloke, he's at every hospital. You know what I mean, he's about 65, you'll see him come up the corridor with stripy pyjamas, holding a bag of piss and a drip, he'd be like, ah. <laughs> fuck, there he is again, he was at the last hospital. He must get round the corner, get in a car and go, 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 go. <laughs> it's like your local GP, they're knackered. They need investment. You ring them up and they go like that, they go, we can't fit you in till Thursday. But I'll be better by then. Yes, yeah, so stop bothering us, fuck off. <laughs> can't fit you in till Thursday. You know, it's like we have to plan our own this in. We have to ring up and go, hello? Yeah, I'm gonna have flu in about a year. Can you fucking fit me in? You know, I mean... <laughs> You're probably like me. By the Wednesday, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Now I'm feeling guilty about wasting the doctor's time, you know? I'm sat in the freezer in damn clothes trying to fucking flu back up. Come on! <laughs> That's the other thing they ask you when you ring the doctors. They go, is it an emergency? Well, I won't know until I get down there. You're asking me to make a diagnosis. I ain't had the fucking training, you bad. <laughs> And they say, they always say the same thing, your appointment's at four. It's never at four. You'll go down there at four and then make you wait in that waiting room with all the coffers for another bloody hour. You know when the doctor comes out at five and goes, I'll see you now, you go, no, you fucking won't. <laughs> I've got a few more posters to read yet. Sit the fuck down. When he examines you, he gets out that socket set, looks right in your ear with that pointy thing and goes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, what does fucking mm-hmm mean? That's a perfectly good ear, it deserves at least a fucking wow. <laughs> you know, and you go in, you have to whisper. Every time you go in the doctors, you go, I got a doctor's appointment. <laughs> they go, okay, sit down, okay, take that much. Why are we whispering? There's no signs. I'm saying we have to whisper. If we went in and talked normally, what would it upset all the other patients, would it? You know, you kind of go and I got a doctor's appointment, they'd all be sat there going, ah! Ah! <laughs> You never see an ambulance go by going, da, 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 da. <laughs> you know? Fuck. <laughs> It says when you go in, it says above the door, doctor's practice. I don't want him practicing. I want it for fucking real. <laughs> and it's weird. Any time there is an accident, you know, the police always do the same thing. Move along, please. There's nothing to see. Well, I wasn't thinking about seeing anything until you just mentioned it. Why? What's fucking going on? 